Hello everybody, Kuroda, Rob here. It's a gorgeous day, so I thought I would record this outside. Um, how's it going, guys? Uh, so I've, this is something I've been kind of thinking about for the last, like, maybe week or so, because some of you guys may have noticed that there's been a huge, huge influx of people to the channel. And, um, you know, I've been thinking about it, and a lot of you probably don't even really know me or know my history on YouTube, so I decided that I would do today a kind of... Um, a little story time, I guess, <laughs> video for you guys. Just kind of explaining my journey on YouTube and how I started and, you know, how I kind of got to this point. Um, and it's kind of a long story. I'm going to try to keep it fairly brief, but also just kind of explain to you guys who don't really know me very well a little about me and a little about the channel and how I kind of got here. And, um, Another thing I wanted to kind of highlight is just sort of what you can expect from my channel if you subscribed, and I thought this would be kind of fun too for even my regular subscribers who have maybe been here for quite a while but haven't been here since the very beginning, so I think it'd be, uh, I thought this would be a kind of an interesting little exercise and uh, see, you know, just where this takes us, so I guess before I really get into like how I started the channel, I need to talk about something else, which is my original channel called Select Player, which I did with my brother Walt. Um, now, before I get into that, you guys might have noticed on my banner, there is sort of a picture of myself, and my wife Rachel is behind me, um, and there's like, kind of like, it looks like a player select screen of other people on there. Those are all just people who are my friends who are associated with the channel, who've been on the channel, and some fashion, whether it's been in a series or guested many times or have contributed to videos that I've scripted and edited and stuff like that. So um, those people are all people I know in real life and I have known for, in a lot of cases, many years and who are good friends. And um, the whole kind of concept of that actually started with Select Player. It was a Let's Play channel, basically, that I started with my brother Walt, who has contributed a lot to this channel as well. And it was his idea, and basically the idea behind it was to have different series running at different times with different people. And the idea is that you can choose the player that you want to watch play the game. And so, like, it was a nice little combination of um, basically most of the people that are actually on this channel, aside from one, which is my brother-in-law, Dan. But it was basically me, Walt, and we'd have our friends, Kevin and Matt, and our brother-in-law, Dan guest on the channel and we would do let's plays of all kinds of stuff uh, lots of different games uh, I do a lot mostly Nintendo games here but you know I know he Kevin and Walt played Resident Evil and there was a bunch of other stuff that we played so the whole kind of concept of of that started with select player and we were pretty much strictly a let's play channel we didn't really do anything else and we did that in early 2016 and uh, we did what I one of my favorite things about uh, Select Player was we would do these silly skits and they got to the point of ridiculousness at times, <laughs> and uh, we just uh, we were kind of silly. A lot of it was really over the top, especially with Walt because he was quite young at the time and had kind of a messed up sense of humor. But um, him and Kevin both really, but uh, and admittedly I had a messed up sense of humor too, and I still do. But that being said. <laughs> uh, we had a lot of fun doing skits for that and uh, doing the Let's Plays. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where my desire to really do a channel of my own really started from. Uh, I was living in New Jersey at the time, which is where I'm from. And I was dating my now wife at the time, who is uh, Canadian. She lived in Canada. And, you know, there's a whole story behind that, but I'm not going to get into that today. But long story short, we decided we didn't want to be long distance dating anymore and by the end of 2016 we moved in together and you know Walt and I had kind of the whole select player thing had kind of fizzled out months before that uh, by the summer really I was pretty preoccupied with seeing Rachel and you know doing other things and he also got a little preoccupied and um, so we basically kind of stopped doing it by that summer of 2016 and by the time, you know, late 2016 rolled around and we had moved to upstate New York, which is where we live now. And, uh, you know, we had moved in. We lived with my aunt and uncle for a few weeks and then we moved into our own place. And I was unemployed at the time or no, I was actually working part time. 
and I was, had a lot of time on my hands and I really wanted to do something and I decided that I wanted to try to start a channel by myself because I really really loved doing select player with Walt and I thought I could do something similar on my own. So in very early 2017, uh, I believe it was January 5th or so, I might have the date slightly wrong, um, I decided to just on the fly record a little vlog announcing that I was starting a channel. Um, and I basically said that I didn't really know what I wanted to do, except I know I did want to do Let's Plays. And, you know, you can watch it. It's, it's in one of the playlists, or even just look it up on YouTube. You could probably find it. Um, and I basically just talked about, you know, my experience with Select Player, and that I had lots of interests, and I wanted to do all kinds of things. But I would start out with Let's Plays. So I, I talked about that, and I had had some of the equipment... Um, I think actually Walt had it still at the house in New Jersey, so I asked him if I could have the equipment because we went halvesies in on the equipment when we, re we originally started the channel, so I grabbed the capture card and the microphone from him. Same microphone, by the way, the one I'm using right now. And uh, then once I got all that equipment, I decided that I would start recording some kind of uh, series. So the first one I d decided to try was Final Fantasy VI, which I ended up having a lot of trouble with because... Um, I ended up losing some, like honestly, <laughs> losing some uh, footage and uh, ultimately losing my data on the file, which sucked. So I decided to also do maybe a bit more accessible games, so I decided to play one of my favorite video games of all time, which is Super Mario 64. And I loved playing that, and it kind of just kept going from there. And I decided to do two series at a time, so after Final Fantasy VI was kind of done and I couldn't finish it, I decided to play Kingdom Hearts, which... Um, you know, I ran through that. That was my first kind of really big series that I did. I did 80 parts of that, actually. And I actually beat the game for the very first time on the channel, which I was super proud of. And um, basically, that was kind of how this channel was born. It kind of came out of the ashes, I guess you could say, of Select Player. And I started doing my own series. And um, my first guest ever was actually Dave, who, um, uh, which is kind of funny because I think I knew him for like a month. <laughs> and... Um, you know, he, because uh, I had actually just started my new job. It was kind of funny. I started the channel in early January. It was like the 5th. I posted that video. Here's the quick timeline. Got married like a week or two later to Rachel, which was like one of the best days of my life. And, um, you know, and I started my job that I worked for like two, two and a half years or so from there, actually. Um, and I started working nights there thereafter fairly fairly quickly. I think I went to full time in like February or March, but anyway, that doesn't matter. So, um, so yeah, so I did that. Dave, I, I met at that job and I knew him for like a month <laughs> and I had a guest and that's where his, uh, the first thing we did together was Dr. Mario 64, which is, uh, where that love affair with him and that game came from. And, uh, I also started doing a lot of Dave videos, which was very entertaining. Um, so anyway, so Dave was my very first guest and has become one of my best friends and is also featured heavily on the channel. And um, my second guest ever was my wife, uh, Rachel, and she was kind of hesitant to guest at first because she was just feeling a little anxious about it. And uh, she thought maybe to take the edge off, <laughs> she we would uh, she'd have a little wine and I'd drink and we did the very first drunk Mario Golf, which was really fun. And that kind of loosened her up and she liked it. And then we decided to do a series together, which was Yoshi's Woolly World. And that was kind of how her and I started doing series together. So, um, for the first year of the channel, really, um, I pretty much did Let's Plays, mostly on my own, and I did a, the Yoshi's Woolly World series with Rachel, and then, you know, we would go to Canada and, um, visit Rachel's family, and when we were there, we would record episodes, I'd bring all the equipment, and we'd record episodes of, like, Pikmin with, uh, Steven, also known as Yoshi King, and, uh, James, also, I recall doing Turtles in Time with him. And we'd go to Jersey, and if my friends from Jersey would come up, we would do, you know, I'd do stuff with, um, like, Matt, who's been on the channel a bunch, as you guys know, and um, Kev, of course, those two being, having been on Select Player, right, eventually coming into the channel as well. So um, that's kind of how, like, the core Kuroda, Kai, the Kuroda crew, as I call them, kind of uh, were incorporated into the channel. And uh, so you'd have basically me, Rachel, Dave... Walt and Kev and Matt and James and Steven. So there's like eight of us. So those are all basically the core people that you see on the top of the banner 
right now on the channel is is us so uh, it's pretty cool it's nice to have such good friends I love you guys uh, that have been con that have contributed heavily to the channel both with guesting and doing all kinds of videos and live streams and special videos stuff stuff like you know the unboxings I've done with Matt and you know um, the live streams I've done with Steven and him basically saving me and Pikmin and all the collaborations I've done with James with um, you know things like uh, we've done discussion videos and we've done um, we did the the Metroid video and all that but I'm getting ahead of myself um, you know so all of you guys who helped contribute to video to the videos and stuff uh, it's been great you know I've had a great time but in 2017 anyway uh, aside from let's plays I did start kind of well I guess I that's when I first started doing live streams too in uh, mid summer or so and the first big live stream I did was Super Mario World with Rachel and that's where I first got my first sort of big influx of subscribers which took me from like 16 subscribers or something like that to I think it was like 30 and I was thrilled I was like really thrilled to have that many subscribers and I started getting regulars on the channel who would come and check out our live streams and watch the let's plays and stuff and over time you know through different streams that was for a long time how I would get new subscribers and new people would kind of join the community and um, you know there's people who've come and gone over the years uh, and uh, you know live streams like I, I remember I did an epic live stream of Pokemon Red for 10 hours straight and got a ton of people to join this uh, to subscribe and join um, join the channel and join the stream and I ended up with like over 50 subscribers at that point and it kind of just kept building up slowly from there I, my channel has very been very much a slow burn I'm not one of those channels that suddenly got like a bunch of subscribers you know I mean there's been times where I've had huge spikes like right now I'm having a spike but it did take many years, you know, we're talking 2017 is when I started. Um, so yeah, so basically, 2017 was mostly that stuff. I started experimenting with other videos. I did Dave's Canadian Adventure when uh, Rachel and I had our Canadian wedding ceremony, which was an epic, like, kind of film sort of thing that I did, which was really fun to do. Uh, and I started experimenting with little things here and there, doing reviews of things. I think I did, like, a top, my, I think I did a... Um, a video about like some some games that I wanted to be on the Super NES Classic that were included and I showed off my Super Nintendo collection and just stuff like that um, and that's when I really started to I think kind of form the nucleus of what this channel has become uh, fast forward to 2018 um, it, a lot of the same kind of stuff um, I kind of went with the same format for a while I kept I had by this time done lots and lots of different let's play series uh, played lots of games Super Metroid a game called I am Satsuna um, I've done uh, oh god I can't even think uh, Rachel and I did all of Majora's Mask that was really fun that was the series we did after Woolly World uh, and we did a whole bunch of other stuff uh, I did Chrono Trigger I think in early 2018 which is one of my favorite games and just a whole bunch of other games I, I can't even think of them all but you can check them out all the playlists or uh, if you go to the playlist channel, you can see all the playlists of my different Let's Plays if you're interested. Um, many, many, many hours of videos. <laughs> that um, A lot of good memories, a lot of fun. Uh, in 2018, I started really experimenting more and broadening my horizons in terms of, um, in terms of content. I started doing a lot more of those review type of things, and um, I incorporated more people in the channel, and I would do things like the uh, 20 Questions series, which I would interview you know, all the members of the Kuroda crew. Dave, you're the only one who hasn't done it yet. Oh, and Kevin. But Dave, you're long overdue. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we got to do 20. I have like a 20 question series and all kinds of stuff just to get so people could get to know um, me and the other members of the Kuroda crew a bit better. And I do all kinds of fun stuff like that, um, little vlogs and whatnot. And um, eventually by mid-2018, a game... Uh, was being very hyped up and a lot of you m might know where I'm going with this uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was becoming like a really really big game and you know I'd w I would watch speculation videos about what characters were going to be announced and all this, this stuff and I just really had a lot to say so I started making a few speculation videos which suddenly got me more views than I'd ever could have I'd ever gotten before I think um the first one that I got was like uh, seven characters that should be in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and that was my first video to break a thousand views, which was crazy. And then I made a sequel to that. I, maybe sequel isn't the right word, but 
I made another video called Seven More Characters that sh that are likely to be in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And that was my first sort of viral video, which went, which um, in the span of a couple weeks got like over 100,000 views. And it's still, right now, as of the recording of this, um, my most viewed video on the channel, which was crazy. I never expected something like that. And I decided to kind of ride that wave and kept making Super Smash Bros. Uh, ultimate related content and I got a whole bunch of subscribers I ended up getting I went from like a just over a hundred subscribers to like I think it was like 700 in the span of a couple weeks which was crazy for me and uh, started getting a lot more people attending my live streams I remember I was streaming like um, uh, subspace emissary for brawl and sonic mania around that time and people were just coming in and um, you know, people discovered me through the Sonic Mania streams as well as through the Smash videos. So I got a ton of people, uh, a lot of like really, really great friend people who become really great friends and mainstays on the channel. People like Aaron and 3D and Sakara and, and people like that. Um, and uh, you guys all know who you are, but uh, you guys started becoming regulars on the on the channel. And um, around that time, I also decided to make a Discord because I had quite a few people that were. Uh, pushing me to to start a discord so i did that and um yeah the discord's still going it's uh it's been a really really great uh fun time and uh, we've become quite a tight and awesome community so yeah the discord's been been wonderful i started that around that time and i was very like very surprised and very like i don't know it was very gratifying having all that success because i'd already put like over I think I'd put a year and a half into the channel of regularly updating and, um, you know, uploading videos and recording stuff. I put a lot of time and effort into it. So to start seeing some real, you know, success and returns uh, was really gratifying. And, you know, it's, it's always ex exciting when you're even mildly successful at something that you, uh, that you love to do. And uh, as I've said many times on the channel, this channel is my passion. So it was... Uh, it's just been, it's been a great, fun time and a wild ride. But yeah, so um, around that time, you know, I had started getting, like I said, a huge influx of subscribers. And with the Smash thing, I decided to to start doing a series called uh, character analysis videos because there were other people in the Smash Smash speculation community that were just doing a way better job and more thorough job and just putting out content more regularly. People like Papa Gino's and uh, Billy Bo Ten Thousand and a few others that I can think of. And there's too much competition with it, so I decided that I didn't really want to, you know, scour GameFAQs <laughs> forums for every little, like, post that Ver Vergebin would, uh, would make or, you know, follow every leak I could find on 4chan and post about it. I just wasn't about that. I didn't really want to do that. And the channel was always so much more than just, like, doing Smash speculation. But what I loved about that time period was doing, especially doing those character analysis videos, which is, which were basically like, I would pick a character, and I'd have, I basically analyze their chances of becoming um, the next, you know, the next fighter in Smash Ultimate or whatever, which was really fun. But what that, what doing those videos taught me was really how to do a proper script, um, a, and like a voiceover, and editing, and that was an extremely useful skill to really start start not mastering but really uh, start building upon because um, it led to other videos starting in 2019 um, particularly a video that is right now still still growing and still getting tons of views and um, recently as of I think it was yesterday uh, as of the recording of this just hit a hundred thousand views which is like crazy and very humbling um, and that was of course in early 2019 when I released um, my top 20 Super Nintendo game of all time and that was the first video that I think aside from those character analyses videos that I wrote a, a really good script I did a voiceover and my voiceovers have never been that great <laughs> my character analysis videos my voiceovers I'm not very happy with I think except I think it was Isaac that one I was pretty happy with um but that was the first video where I thought my voiceover skills were getting a little bit better. They're, they're, they've gotten so much better since then, but um, that was the first one that I thought I did well. And I wrote a script, and I put a little bit of silly humor in it, and I worked many, many hours on that video. It took a long time uh, to put all those clips together to edit it and everything, and 
Um, it was a really satisfying video. The fact that it's become so successful too, and I had put all that time and effort into it, um, it's it's very very satisfying and very gratifying, and I'm very grateful for it. Um, and that of course led to in 2019 me doing a whole bunch of um, scripted videos. Uh, I then decided to do a series called A Brief History where I basically pick different like series and um, well actually the first one I did was on Rareware because I was really fascinated by Rare. I think it was because of all the Banjo-Kazooie hype <laughs> for Smash, you know. Um, I really wanted to and, and my love, just undying love of the first three Donkey Kong Country games, but I really wanted to explore Rare and the company and um, I did research on them, and I recall watching another video that was kind of a history of them, and I was like, well, I'd like to do, like, a brief history, something more concise than the one I watched. I think the one I watched was, like, an hour long, and I wanted, like, a bite-sized, like, 10-minute video to do, so I did a brief history of Rare. That turned out really well. I was really pleased with that. I was really pre pleased with my voiceover and that and the script. I scripted, edited, voiceover, everything myself, and then I ended up... Um, collaborating with James again on another one because uh, he is quite a good writer and I wanted to do something with him anyway so I did uh, a brief history of um, of Metroid and that was another video that turned out really well and I was really happy with um, and that's led to a brief history of Castlevania and a bunch of other videos and it's kind of led me to now where um, you know, that was most of 2019, and now as we hit early 2020, um, it's led to me making more little bite-sized videos like those, that Chrono one, and the recent Link to the Past one, and now that I've been able to, I've hit a thousand subscribers, and well, as, as recording this, I'm on my way to 1700, which I'm very humbled by, um, now I'm able to do a whole bunch of things that I want to do, and I've been able to monetize the channel, and I made a little money off of the channel. And um, I'm excited for the future to kind of, you know, put more time and effort into videos and make better videos and get better equipment and just improve myself. And I think my editing skills have gotten a lot better. My voiceover skills have gotten a lot better. Um, my scripting skills have gotten a lot better. And I've even gotten better just in front of the camera. I've gotten more comfortable with it. And um, so do you new people who are kind of, you know, unfamiliar with, my channel and what my regular content is I guess I would just say expect let's plays uh, still because that is always going to be the core of this channel scripted videos reviews that I do of stuff uh, movies not just video games movies and other things I used to do a Sunday album reviews which um, series which I've moved kind of to a different channel where I uh, called sound of music it's actually a podcast that I do with my friend Andrew and yeah, I don't know what else to say. Like, I just, it's kind of led me to today, and I'm, I, I feel very happy about all the success I've got. And, you know, I think my channel has something for everyone in terms of the gaming world. If you like Let's Plays, if you like kind of, you know, reviews of games, if you like um, live streams, if you like uh, um, scripted kind of um, informational sort of videos about video games, and other things like that. I have a lot of stuff that I'm been working on and um it takes time and a lot of effort and i know not everything i make is for everybody but those are the kind of things you can expect and that's pretty much been my journey so far on youtube so it's been a wild ride and i've been really grateful for it and i'm excited to see where i go in the future but anyway this video is getting kind of long just thought i'd give you guys a kind of brief history <laughs> a brief history of Kuroda, i guess <laughs> to let you guys know what what my journey has been like on youtube and i look forward to uh, seeing where the future takes me. But with that, guys, I'm going to get out of here and enjoy this beautiful day, and thanks for watching. Peace.